Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session as we take a deeper look at Mikhail McKay. Now, this guy jumped out of nowhere. Yes, he runs a 4 5, 5 40. He's tall. He's rangy. One can argue the fact that maybe he flew under the radar because he went to some obscure team that picked him up. But the guy had the range, and, and I like this. And even Dak Prescott was able to not hit him with this ball right here. <laughs> maybe that's the reason why he was not drafted, right? Or maybe this was the reason why everything went under the water with him. Let's be wild on his play. And look at him. He just don't have those hands that everybody wanted to see coming out of 2016. So, but this is what happened. You know, this play right here got my eyes on him. And I wanted to know who was the guy with the snag. How tall is he? What was his range? What was his story? And as we look back at this play, when you can high point the ball like this, it brings, it brings attention, guys catches the ball smoothly with his hands the knock on him was his uh his hands coming out of college so i think that he improved that he was 197 pounds coming out of college now he's 210 so that means that he's uh, he's stronger now have a stronger base his knock was uh when the uh, opposition was able to get their hands inside on his chest they was able to redirect him and he was not able to get off the line as quick but now i'm talking about a guy that you can know for sure he have the height six foot four some can say six foot five some reports said six foot three so i'm gonna go in the middle six foot four and a half because some said six foot six so when you have that type of size and speed at four five five forty is not as slow it's not the fastest speed in the world too but when you have that <laughs> that ability to pluck the ball out of the sky guys that's what i like and then his speed is so subtle and hidden now he's under the uh, coach Lyle's receiver play. This is like a a wide receiver's coach dream to coach up a young prospect who have that height, who have that length. Now you can put your skills to say, hey, this can be the guy that we mold and shift and make ourselves. Let's rewind this thing right here. Just to snag the ball out of there, man. <laughs> you guys know I love when a player is able to do this. Give me this ball that's everything hey you would need this on your team especially when you're talking about our young quarterback a young quarterback who needs that window remember i was talking about this guy just don't have just a small window you have a whole balcony i mean look at this view <laughs> you got to put your bigger corner on him that's that will count for defensive matchup defensive lineman and he's shifty enough i think his yak is pretty underrated too as well so when i'm looking at his skill set i know that the, most of these are highlights but scouting always say if you've seen it once before you can see it again and this is yards off the play this guy's putting up uh, yards off of this run after that catch and that's what you want to see out there on the field somebody who can pluck the ball out of the sky i think he concentrate more on catching the ball with his hands than any other receiver who quote unquote supposed to have bad hands so i think that with that being said, by him having a basketball mentality, a basketball frame, he used to play basketball. But when I'm talking about this guy right here, six foot three, six foot four, six foot five, whatever his height is, when he runs out the catch, he's showing that everybody that I'm trying to get more yards and I'm trying to pluck the ball out of the sky with my hands. And he will have that short area quickness too as well. And he just runs vicious. I like what he brings, and the scouting report says that he can block down the field too as well, a willing blocker. So that speaks what his mentality is about. I really want to see this guy grow and see. Look at that catch right here. Let's rewind and look at this catch, man. That was a good catch over the top, over the shoulder, and that's what I like to see. Smashing, getting the ball, moving the ball up the field, and hey, <laughs> that looks like a touchdown. We're going to look back at this catch again. I just want to just show you guys this, man. This is just just weird of how he's able to concentrate weird nasty guys <laughs> that's what i like to see guys i want to know your thoughts i want to know your opinions of this whole uh mikhail mckay do you have him as your dark horse is he your pet cat is he a long shot for this team because a lot of people like the noah browns and the lance lenores of the world are scratching their head and saying to themselves hey who is this guy can we stay healthy because the war of attrition is everything in this game. And if you can stay healthy, if you can stay in shape, if you can keep your mind together like this, man, 
There's a world of opportunities out there for you to make this team. Let me know of your opinions, of your thoughts. Put them down in the comment sections down below. And uh, don't forget to like this page, subscribe to this page for more content. Uh, tell somebody uh, about this page, share this information. And as you know, you got a guy, your brother from another mother. No other. I don't look like Danny Glover, but I keep it cool for you guys. <laughs> That's all the time I have for today. I really thank you for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace.